welcome everyone this video is going to highlight on history of nanoscience and technology first we see what is meant by nanomaterials and nanotechnology nanotechnology is the new field of science that is evolved in 20th century nanoscience deals with materials having the size of 1 to 100 nanometer scale and the materials comprising from 1 to 100 nanometer scale are known as nanomaterials and due to small size these nanomaterials have some different properties or novel properties and functions in every field of science the word nanotechnology was derived from the greek word nanos that is dorp dorp means small size One nanometer is billionth of meter. This is the equation. One nanometer is equal to 10 raised to minus 9 meter. That is, nanomaterial size is very very small, and the nanomaterial is composed of atoms, molecules, engineering nanomaterials, and that materials having the size range is of 1 to 100 nanometer. for example a single human hair is of 60000 nanometer in diameter that is our hair it is 60000 nanometer in diameter how small is the nanometer this is the comparison chart of nano scale this is the range 1 mill 1 mm to 100 picometer from 1 mi from 100 picometer to 1 mm the size goes on increasing the smallest size particle is atom which is of 0.1 nanometer and the allotrope of carbon c60 that is fullerene it has the size 1 nanometer and this is the comparative charge our dna molecule has the size 2 nanometer bacteria has the size 0.15 to 2 micrometer our hair it is the 60 micrometer in diameter that is 60000 nanometer the pollen grains it has the size 400 micrometer and the range from 1 nanometer to 100 nanometer that much size is of nanoparticles the virus has the size 10 to 150 nanometer there are the nanoparticles which has very small size they are known as quantum dots these are the quantum dots gold nanoparticles have the size of 10 to 25 nanometer thus that comparison chart shows that how small size is of nanomaterials this is the relation chart and 1 nanometer is equal to 10 raised to minus 9 meter now we see history of nanotechnology the evidence of use of nanomaterials in human can be found back to the 4th century ad the famous lucarcus cup was made from dichroic glass having unusual optical properties this is the lucarcus cup and the lucarcus cup the importance is that when the light is focused inside the cup then the cup appears red in color while if light is focused on the cup then the cup appears green in color that is the uh, it appears red in transmitted light and green in reflected light and this is due to dichroic glass and it is observed that there is presence of silver gold alloy nanoparticles of 50 to 100 nanometer and the gold is responsible for red color 
and silver is responsible for green reflection this is due to transmitted light and this is due to reflected light and this is the evidence of use of nanoparticle particles in 4th century ad again the evidence is that in medieval church windows these are the church windows where the stained glass windows show shining red and yellow colors these pictures are seen and these pictures are only due to nanoparticles of silver and gold in the glass this is also the evidence of use of nanotechnology in history then the next evidence is that damascus swords these are the one of the amazing examples of application of nanotechnology in 18th century these are the damascus swords or damascus steel blades and they are that lines indicate that it they contain nano wires and nano tubes and it is observed that that swords contain iron carbide nano particles and these swords are highly flexible they are very sharp and mechanically they are strong and this is only due to use of carbon nano particles or carbide nano particles in it the famous sword of tipu sultan in 18th century was made up of wood steel and that swords are named as damascus sword this is also evidence of nanotechnology then about 2000 years ago iron pillars are made in india which are in open air and have faced more than 1000 years of seasonal attack this is the iron pillar in delhi and it is established 2000 years ago the construction of iron iron pillar in front of qutub minar in delhi indicates the advanced metallurgy knowledge of ancient indians this pillar contains 98% pure iron which is not rusted even after 1600 years it is 100% corrosion resistant although it contains 98% iron this is the amazing example of use of nanoparticles in ancient times researchers found that this pillar contains 1 to 0.5% phosphorus due to which it is corrosive resistant such type of iron pillars are also found in konark dhar mount abu kodicherry etc and it indicates that nano the use of nanotechnology is from ancient years the again the another example is herbal kajal other evidences such as herbal kajal basmas are also indicates use of nanotechnology these are the traditional practices in india the kajal has been prepared since ancient times by the controlled combustion of coconut oil and collecting its soot on a silver plate and that kajal it is put in the eyes of babies or some women women are also using that and it is proved that this synthesized kajal contains nano particles of carbon and that nano particles of carbon have antimicrobial properties and now it has the great importance in the field of cosmetics this is also one of the example of use of nanotechnology these are the carbon nano particles then history of nanotechnology again put forward in 1857 the scientist michael faraday studied the
the preparation and properties of colloidal suspension of ruby gold and he prepared different colored gold solutions and concluded that these unusual colors are due to different size gold nanoparticles this is ruby red solution of gold nanoparticles and this is in 1857 in 1908 gustav may illustrated optical properties of gold nanoparticles and my theory it is a complete mathematical physical theory of scattering of electromagnetic wave by homogeneous spherical nanoparticles the concept of nanotechnology was put forward by great physicist richard finman this is the great richard finman and the day of nanotechnology was started from a speech of richard finman entitled there is a plenty of room at the bottom and that speech is given was given at an american physical society meeting at california institute of technology in 1959 and this is a very famous statement of richard finman there is a plenty of room at bottom and he explained the possibility of manufacturing of small machines and objects with atomic precision and according to him it is possible that all volumes of encyclopedia will be on tip of the pin this is the idea of finman and from which the, the era of nanotechnology starts the concept of nanotechnology was first put forward by richard finman then the concept of nanometer was first proposed by richard gimondi in 1925 and he got the nobel prize in chemistry he used the term nanometer to measure the size of gold colloidal particles using microscope the actual term nanotechnology was first used by japanese scientist norio taniguchi in 1974 norio taniguchi and he was he was the scientist who used the word nanotechnology first time nanotechnology mainly consists of the processing of separation consolidation and deformation of materials by one atom or one molecule then in 1986 eric drexler published the first book on nanotechnology the book name is engines of creation the coming era of nanotechnology which leads to theory of molecular engineering he described the build up of complex machine from individual atoms and produces self assembly nanostructures drexler's vision of nanotechnology is often called as molecular nanotechnology drexler's vision is known as molecular nanotechnology self assembly nanostructures are termed as nano robots or assemblers which are used for nano processes in medicine and application according to him the human body also controlled by such type of molecular engines after that he introduced the new term nano medicine the modern era of nanotechnology starts when the physicians gerbening and herrick rover invented new type of microscope at ibm zurich research laboratory known as scanning tunneling microscope and they got the nobel prize in physics in 1986 for their design of scanning tunneling microscope this invention led to the development of atomic force microscope and scanning probe microscopes at the time at that time at the same time 
in 1985 robert curl oral croto and richard smolle discovered very stable carbon spheres which is allotrope of carbon that is fullerenes or bucky balls the carbon balls of c60 or c70 form when graphite is evaporated in an inert atmosphere and from that new carbon chemistry is developed this is fullerene that is c60 which is invented by these scientists after few years later in 1991 ijima and other japanese scientists developed carbon nanotubes carbon nanotubes have high strength and flexibility and are used as composite fibers in polymers to improve mechanical thermal and electrical properties these are the carbon nanotubes and the carbon nanotubes have different type of shapes such as armchair zigzag chiral these are the arrangement of atoms in carbon nanotubes in 2004 a new class of carbon nanomaterials called carbon dots with size below 10 nanometer was discovered accidentally by zu et al during purification of single walled carbon nanotubes due to excellent optical and electronic properties carbon dots have number of applications in bioimaging biosensor drug delivery catalysis energy conversion and for sensitive metal ion detection these are the some applications of nanomaterials after discovery of graphene in year 2004 carbon based materials become backbone of almost every field of science and engineering graphene was first isolated by ak jim and ks noel noel sev at university of manchester in 2004 and got nobel prize in 2010 in the meantime nano science progressed in other fields of science like computer science electronics and biological sciences due to progress in nanotechnology the size of large size computers electronic devices smartphones etc are reduced in size very efficiently recently it is proved that nanotechnology have huge potential in diagnosis and therapy of many human diseases nanotechnology is proved to be alternative to chemotherapy by significant reduction of toxicity due to chemotherapeutic drugs these are the most important applications of carbon nanoparticles and other nanoparticles nanotechnology in agricultural practices control of pollution has remarkable applications from year 2000 the progress of nanotechnology is rapidly spread in all over the world we all are aware about importance of nano sized materials but the progress of nanotechnology will reach up to a certain limit that is till the technology comes up to the atom level and that point should we should have to be remember and this is overall history and progress of nanotechnology thank you very much